Today, I wanted to share with you about failing as a filmmaker. Now, I'll get more into what I mean by that exact definition of failing in just a moment, but I wanna share with you guys an example. About a week and a half ago, I set out to shoot a fake product video. I grabbed something that I had around, I was gonna shoot it to get some skills and practice in and come out with a really cool video in the end. I, you know, thought about it a little bit, thought up some of the shots. I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. Started working on it and brought it into the editing room and found out really quickly um, that it wasn't quite working as I expected. Now, I was kind of confused by this because I had been doing fake product videos for the last few weeks and they were turning out great. So why didn't this one turn out great? And I started feeling like I was failing, a failure, you know, that feeling that you get where you're like, oh, it didn't turn out as I expected, it's not good enough, I'm not good enough. And suddenly you could go down that rabbit hole of, you know, I'm a failure, I'm failing as a filmmaker. So I had all these feelings of failure based off of the, you know, unaccomplished that I felt with this specific video. And it made me realize that as a society today, we don't often talk about those difficult topics. So that's where we're at today. And I wanna to explain to you that that feeling that you might get as a filmmaker when something doesn't go right or doesn't turn out the way you expected in the most successful way that you imagined, it doesn't always mean that you're failing. I would say most of us actually know, but often forget um, the definition for failure. And that is to, to give up on something instead of continuing even when it's difficult and doesn't have the outcomes that you were expecting. So going back to this example of me shooting a video and it not turning out as I expected, um, it was really difficult because you can easily go down a rabbit hole of all those feelings of failure that are lingering in the back of your head that you push away. But then when that one thing doesn't go quite right, they all come rushing back to remind you, hey, you're not doing so great, you're failing. Remember that other video you shot and it didn't turn out well and you never did anything with it? Oh, and remember how you didn't get a client last week or this week? And you know, suddenly you can feel like, wow, I'm just terrible at this filmmaking thing and maybe I should just give it up. And that's not very good or helpful to you know growth and success, which is something I care deeply deeply about on this channel, but also struggle with personally. And that's why I try to talk about it a lot on this channel to help you guys out. So maybe you're like me and have been in a situation like this recently or in general or a lot, and you have that video that you shot and it didn't turn out the way you expected. You're feeling like a failure. Every time you look at the project file, you get really disappointed with yourself. You get disappointed with your growth and you probably have a little bit of stress over the fact that you have a project file that's not getting finished and you feel really stuck and you're kind of just sit around not actually getting anything else done because you're so worried about this one thing that's taking all of your attention saying hey if you don't fix this you're a failure for sure if you don't make something happen with this you're a failure for certain and you've got to give up filmmaking and then suddenly these things are in your head and you're not leading effectively in any area of your life so my point in sharing all this is that you don't have to sit there in that area much like i did for last week and a half feeling like a failure you got to pull yourself out of it say okay what did i learn from this and then move on in case you're wondering what i learned from this situation and example i learned that i needed to better plan out the shot I got a little cocky perhaps, and I thought, hey, it'll turn out okay because I have one or two great shots in my head and I'll just shoot those and then all the other ones will just work with it. And I didn't realize that I needed to plan it out a little bit more for that specific type of shoot. I got a little ambitious. You know, I had fun with the shoot, but um, I, I was more aggravated afterwards because I felt like, oh, it'll just turn out. So what I learned from that was to plan it out a little bit more beforehand. And maybe it still will turn out the same way, but I feel like that's what I can learn right now. And that's what I can take to apply to my next videos. And just as a funny side note, I guess I didn't actually fail completely because I actually showed some of these shots in this video. So those shots did get used and they just weren't in the way that I thought it was going to be. So maybe I already turned this failure into a success. I have no idea. All I know is that I'll keep creating. I'll still make videos. Sometimes it'll be hard and sometimes it will be less hard. Um, <laughs> and that is okay. So hopefully this has been encouraging to you today. Thank you for taking the time to watch it. I know I kind of rambled a little bit here, um, but I do make filmmaking videos every single week for filmmakers. So you should go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. I will totally answer them. And with that, I will see you guys next time.